I'm Tony Fast, and my family has been blessed to be able to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. A lot has changed in those 100 years, and it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior Jesus Christ. Nope, that's not weed anymore. We're into canola now. It's dry enough. We're actually got a little bit of shatter happening from the wind. So uh, we got to get this canola off. Yesterday was pretty windy. I think that was the culprit. So we're cutting canola. Well, I'm heading over to the field kind of late today. I just spent the morning getting uh, one of the air seeders going, seeding some cover crop. And uh, combines are cutting canola. I'm gonna go uh, dump the last truck to fill a bin, move the auger to the next bin, and then I think I'm gonna go grade some roads for a little while. Get some of these roads moved out before uh, before we got to run trucks on them and cut the weed out here. So let's go do something. Back from road grading. Time to dump trucks again. I got the trucks all dumped. Just about done with that field. And we are going to be moving up to one of Dad's fields next. So. I gotta go get the bins ready, get the door closed up on that one, and uh, a few things all squared away there, so when we move the auger up there, we can just start cutting. Well, the sound quality is probably gonna be horrible for this, but we'll try it anyways. This is the bin we're gonna be putting canola in, and it has a door. It's not a typical, most bins are typically have a door, but we're fortunate that we have a lot of hopper bins that we don't have to do this for. But canola is almost like water, it can run through almost anything. So, to fix that, we have to put plastic up over the top here and hang it down over the door from the inside. So, plastic's in here from the last time we cleaned this bin out, so I guess we'll put it on. Wait a minute, it's not a combine or a tractor. I'm spraying ahead uh, of the cover crop. We uh, need to get these weeds killed that are out here, give that cover crop a good good start, good chance of growing. So um, Hayden's putting another batch of cover crop in the drill. Rob and Dad and Nick are over uh, combining and they're dumping a uh, grain cart into a truck that's parked right at the auger so one guy can do that while they're cutting canola. So I gotta get a, at least this field sprayed, maybe another one before uh, I head over there to help them combine later on when they get put down with that field. So what's going on y'all? Well, I haven't done a lot of filming on cutting canola because, well, honestly, it's boring. So much fluff, seeds so light that in the combine, the little white seeds get hung up in the fluff of the canola and it doesn't bump the concaves very well. So if you push too much through the rotor, it all goes up the back of the combine. So three miles an hour, 45 foot head, that's about as fast as we go. Um, the stand is great, the population all emerged great. I don't know if the heat cut it back on the pod fill or what, but the yields just aren't very good right now. We're probably cutting half of what it looks like. So this is our last field. This is actually split. 
the other east side of it is Roundup Ready. And I'm hoping that we're surprised when we get into that and it's a way better yield. But we'll see. This is a non GMO variety. It's got a contract for a higher price. So it kind of makes it worth it to plant it. But it's going to be borderline that it's going to make any more money than what uh, our conventional canola or our, you know the conventional market for the GMO canola, not a pretty canola. So we'll see. Maybe tonight, might be tomorrow before we get into that part of the field. We got, I don't know, 120 acres, 100 acres of this field to cut till we get there. So it might be right before dark or right before we shut down tonight, well after dark that we get into it. So we'll see. Good morning. Uh, back in the sprayer. Gonna go uh, spray a little more ahead of the air drill this morning. Uh, we did finish the non-GMO canola last night and uh, ready to get into the round of pretty stuff. Hoping that the yield goes up because pretty disappointed so far with this non-GMO variety. Maybe it's just the year. Really hoping that it's just the variety. We have a lot of canola to cut yet and it would be good to have some better yields than what we're seeing. So, yeah, now I gotta run to town. Give me my DOT physical. I'll, I'll pass that test, don't worry. Well, I just got back from town. The combines just left the field they were cutting. I go dump the truck. And we'll go get moved. Rain's to come at 7 tonight. Over the next week, we're gonna have up to 5 inches. 5 inches, not 5 kicks. Not good. We have a lot of acres left to cut. What do we do? Been looking for a combine, a third combine for a week. Trying to rent one, get a demo, anything. There's no combines around our area. Maybe by the middle of next week, we might have one to, to demo. But that's a ways out. Yet. He's heading back a little early. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, oh, he just, the guy the he just ten. lost like 10 kernels. 10? So we're listening to two way chatter. 
Well, it's a deer. I dig on deer could. <laughs> sure, we'll let Ronald. No, play. that's the case of age. <laughs> no, it's a small one, and you can't even see a red in a canola. Oh, I did not get that joke in. <laughs> I did not wait for it. It's still a spot on this picture. Oh. Anyway, what were we talking about? He'd never been around an airsuit before, but instead he gets to check out Canola. He's never been around Canola before. He'd be about 50 feet in front of me, and then in front of you directly is the Canola. Which is not too bad, it's pretty cool. And uh, we are on the verge of getting rained out for what looks like a week now. Another reason why I'm going home. Yeah. His job is a combine, doing some combine research stuff, and they're going to be wet for He's working too, so I'm not really sure what's going to happen here in the next week. But we did get a thousand acres of pepper crop seeded already in the last two and a half days. So do the math on that one. He's the best. That's a, that's a pretty busy uh, air drill. He's so much better than Rob. <laughs> but I didn't know where to go with that now. <laughs> Rob, I, I know you're, you're a cool man, but uh, it's, it's Hayden. Can't fault him. Well, Hayden does have about 4,000 acres of experience from the spring, so he was kind of a go to. Came to see him. Fair enough. Rob. And Rob is super trucker. Go Big Red, game day tomorrow. It is game day. How bad are you going to lose by? I wore this like last Friday, the combine, and then I'm like, it's game day, I gotta wear a red shirt. So then I wore it Saturday last time. <laughs> Moments away from getting rained out, so we're just trying to get as much cut as we can. Right as a Today, now I think we're somewhere at uh, 4,000 acres to combine yet, which is not the normal for second week in September, first week in September, whatever we're at now. So, hopefully, we dry out. We don't get as much rain as we're talking because it's up to five inches for uh, the next seven days. So, what's your like national or your yearly average here? I used to say 10 inches, but we are like what we. Uh, maybe a little more snow, maybe 10 to 12. But we've had 10 inches since June 25th. It's been wet and crazy. So, which, if you've been watching the videos up to this now, you would know that we've had a lot of rain. And if you haven't been, be sure to go watch them. Don't forget to push the subscribe. Which, which side is it on? This side. This side? This side. This you, subscribe. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta put yourself as, in, as yeah. if you're watching yourself. So, yeah, this side. You gotta go subscribe. Like button's right near there too. Kind of right here-ish. And then you'll uh, know when the next video comes out. It's exactly. Actually out here for work. And I was like, oh, hey, Tony, you want a weird guy show up at your farm and annoy you for four hours? And he was like, sure. As long as you bring your drone. And I brought the drone. Well, we are rained out for who knows how long. Get the last load out of the grain cart and off to the bins. Triple dump tonight yet or see what this weather actually does.